Oh my lord. They're taking quarterbacks. Please stop. Alright, looks like they're stopping. Alright. Yeah, it looks like they've chilled out. No, 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 no! The Browns took Parker Bates! The Browns took Parker Bates! The Browns took Parker Bates! No! What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jugger back with a brand new episode of our Madden 20 Redskins rebuild as we finally finished off season number one. Oh my lord guys, why did this take so long? It took three episodes to just simulate through a season man. There's, that just shows how much is always going on in Madden with the upgrades throughout the season and contracts with every player. There's so much more players than on an NBA team and just all of that stuff. So we're finally here. Hope you guys are excited to get our first off season underway this is the true start of this rebuild i know we already did a lot of really important things leading up to this point but i feel like this is where we finally really are getting our our hands dirty and really getting into the thick of things so i hope you guys are excited for today's episode if you are smash that like that like button as always if you want to show some love for the series subscribe if you are a new cadet to the channel and um because you don't want to miss out on any other awesome content that we have coming on this channel and as well as ring the little bell so you can don't miss out on any notifications when videos go live and leave me a comment on what you're liking of this series series is doing a little it's underperforming a little bit on the channel but um i'm still enjoying it and i realize that that's uh that's the youtube grind and our, our, our last couple of episodes haven't been that eventful either so i kind of get it but you'd have to watch to know that they haven't been that eventful so i don't know we're kind of in limbo but this is where things are going to get fun so let's just get to it so um all these guys this is the guys who we are deciding to let go of so we're gonna go let go of chris thompson wendell smallwood uh dominique rogers kamari he's a 66 now like yikes yikes um trayvon hester uh case keenum kayla brantley michael burton chris odom and T timon harris we're letting all those people go um i do want to quickly look at regression now that i saw that uh yeah player regression so jordan reed lost 15 total attributes we lost three on aaron colvin six on quinnon dunbar coma oh cole mccoy is terrible now oh we may actually have to sign Case Keenum because Colt McCoy is actually terrible now. Paul Richardson Jr. Lost five. Yeah, we may need to sign Case Keenum. Alex Smith lost so much too. Oh my. Ooh, and even Kalichi. Oh, I'll smell. Osameli oh, lost some. So not ideal on that regression, but I'm actually going to try to sign Case Keenum now. Um, just because of seeing that regression on Colt McCoy has me a little uncertain. So let's see if he'll go for four mil. Offers perfect. All right. So we're taking him back and we're going to try to get rid of Colt McCoy. We don't want Colt McCoy anymore. He's a 59. No, thank you. No, thank you. Yeah, no. So Case Keenum's our best quarterback, but yeah, Colt McCoy, I'm sorry. This so free up. All right. All right. The penalty. Penalty is a lot less than the amount of money it's freeing up. So let's let's just look at the rosters we go through it. So center's a little eh. LT is a very huge eh. So we need some help at LT. Our line's not great by any means. I like our pass rushers though. Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne, and um and Matthew Ioannidis. That is the strongest part of our team is our pass rush. Um, our linebackers are pretty bad though, especially left outside linebacker. So that's going to have to be a position we prioritize in a draft left outside, left outside linebacker, probably center, um, QB of course, and then wide receiver. Those are the main ones we're going to focus on, but we also need a corner. We could really use a corner to, uh, build around and yeah, we're, we're obviously going to let him go. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to leave the rest, I'll leave the rest of that. 
Free safety, we're not looking great, but yeah, we could also use a corner and we could obviously use a free safety. We're probably not going to be able to address all those positions though, so we're just going to have to do what we can with what we got. And once again, our picks go as the falling of the number four overall pick from Cincinnati, the number 17th pick from the New York Giants, 21st pick is ours, and then the 31st with Buffalo. We'll probably trade our 31st and 21st maybe up to get a... Um, to get a higher first round pick and then just stick with our 17 one um and four and then from there we'll probably trade maybe a four and a five or probably even our three to probably get someone in the second round and hopefully four or five and like a seven or some pick next year give up some type of pick next year so we can get another play i don't know i can't remember how strong this draft class is though and i don't think it's great so we'll have to see We'll have to see we'll have to see we'll have to see but let's see if we can get into free agency and really get see where we're at with all this so sign free agents there we are so we got 30 almost 32 million in cap space for free agency we got chris jones off the bat but we do not need a pass rusher so i'm not going to just go try to throw a huge contract at the best overall player because we don't need a pass rusher Austin Hooper would be cool. If people don't bid on him, I will take him. Um, he's just he's too good to just not consider. Um, I don't like star development at 91, though. It would be really nice if he was superstar or something. So that's kind of off-putting. Ooh, if no, if no one doesn't start bidding on Kareem Hunt, that's another one. Like, we don't need these positions, but they're so helpful if we can get them that it's worth throwing an offer so we may throw an offer and kareem hunt's a scheme fit too so we'll probably look at kareem hunt if an offer doesn't show up for him soon oh kyle van noy would be great but he's already about to be 30 so I, I don't feel the worst about passing up on that uh kendall fuller would be amazing i'm probably going to bid on kendall fuller i'm probably going to bid on kendall Fuller because we can't we can't go into the season with our corners in the state that they are we don't even have like a number one corner like we we don't at all so we can't we can't go into next year with that situation um so we're gonna have to see what we want to do there so yeah guys i think um yeah i think our priority needs to be corner i think that is where i see the best value to get out of this free agency period so let's see what we can offer kendall fuller I'm going to go there and let's see where that puts us. Where does that put us? That puts us at 90, so we need to go higher. So we'll do that. What does that put us? If we go 60.6, that puts us at 91 barely. Let's go to 710 on the uh, signing bonus. And I'll be 65. That gives us 96. We're going to stick with that. Hopefully that's good enough for Kendall Floor. I know it's a lot of money to give a corner, but he's 25. He's an 88. Um, he slots, so it's not ideal with our scheme, but I don't see there's not we're not going to get our exact fit. And I think we can kind of mesh around with him once we get some upgrades and get him to be a little bit more of a scheme fit. And we may even be changing our defensive scheme um, to make it fit our team a little bit better. I will have to play some games to evaluate the talent, though, first. So we'll see once we get to that point. Yeah, Joe Thunley it is. So let's go to Joe Thunley. Let's try to offer. What would that offer be? That puts us at 90. I'll leave us with about 7 mil left in cap space. So we'll go to 350 on the signing bonus. See where that puts us. Puts us at 93. So then we'll just go to. Let's go 370. Where does that put us? All right, 95. So that's where we'll stay on Joe Thunley. And then last is going to be Mike Hilton. E, we can't, we can't. Yeah, we don't have the cap room to offer him anything too great. Yeah. Still can't do that. Figure this. Oh, that's way below the Texans. <laughs> that's way below them. Let's go. If we do that, uh, no, we don't. All right, all right. We'll leave that at that. We'll leave that at that. 
So let's go. Let's simulate. If we can get those two players, um, I feel like those are difference makers enough. I would really like Mike Hilton, but I don't think we're going to get him with the money we already had to throw at those other guys. And I guess we shouldn't bankrupt ourselves in free agency. So yeah, Mike Hilton rejected. Oh, Kendall Fuller accepted, and we did not get an answer from um, Joe Dunley yet. But great, 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 great stuff to see Kendall Fuller accepted. So now we actually have an answer at corner. Ooh, so yeah, I am withdrawn. I'm withdrawing from the Jill Dunley race. Uh, just linemen are a position that linemen is the one of the easiest positions to draft. So for that reason, um, I'm, I'm going to withdraw from throwing that much money at um, that much money at Joe Dunley since uh, Miami and the Chargers are both offering a 99 happiness contract. Um, we're not going to get there. But I am okay with offering a small little contract here. Let's go three years because you'll probably start regressing at that point. And let's calm this contract down quite a lot. Let's do that. How's that sound? 69. I'll bump up to 70. We'll give you the three. Let's get Levi Wallace or Levy Wallace. So we'll st stick at 70 since no one else is offering him. And I'll still be a good, I'll be a good second corner. I'll be, that won't be like not ideal, um, but not, not bad, not bad. I don't want 30 year old linebackers. I just really don't. Um, I'm not enthused. Kareem Hunt still doesn't have an offer. Still not 70. Let's go 410. There we go. All right. We'll give Kareem Hunt a 70 and then let's see if there's any, Developing receivers. This this Demarcus Robinson wouldn't be bad. Kendrick Bourne. Philip Dorsett. I really like Philip Dorsett, but he's just getting old. Not going to be able to get Zach Pascal since he's a star. Just lots of money being thrown at him. Uh, Randall Cobb's old, very old. Ooh, Philip Rivers is on the market. Tajay Sharp. Ooh, he's a deep threat. I wouldn't be bad. He's six two. Let's do two mil on the signing bonus. That's that's my final offer. All right, all right. Leave it at that. All right, fifty one. We'll leave it at that. So that'll be some good depth to add to the team at all these positions. We got to do some scouting though. Not bad. And really not bad. All right. All right, let's advance to next week. Oh no, no one signed. Nobody signed, but we got a fifth year option for Jonathan Allen and we are of course picking this up. I think he could be a key building block. We want to lock up him, yeah, absolutely. So we're picking up the fifth year option on uh, Jonathan Allen for sure. It's one of my favorite players on this team right now. Um, so yeah, we didn't get any of the guys, but none of them denied us. We just didn't get any of them. So Kareem Hunt is still mulling over our offer. Let's see, Levy. Levy's still mulling over our offer. And so is... So is Tajay. So I'm leaving them all like that. I don't see any reason to do anything else, considering that none of them... No one else is offering them. So they're stuck with just us as their only offer. So we're going to leave it at that. All right, let's, let's progress to the next week. And let's hope for the best. So for the best, hope for the best, hope for the best. Please, someone sign. Can we get some signees? Contract accept. Oh, everyone accepted the contract. So we get Kareem Hunt on a super friendly deal. We get the depth with Tajay Sharp. And we get Levy Wallace as our secondary corner. So I'm liking that a lot now. I'm liking that a lot. Let's advance to the draft, guys. It is draft time. It is draft night. Let's get it done. It is time to start the 2020 NFL Draft. Free agency recap. Let's do a quick recap. Free agency. Manuel Sanders did not get signed by anyone, so someone will probably get him on a very friendly contract going into next season. Um, Austin Eckler didn't sign to anyone. Lamar Miller. Oh, Greg Zerline didn't sign anywhere. Uh, Philip Dorsett. Marshawn Lynch. Some decent guys who didn't who didn't get any contracts. 
Um, let's look at the league signings. So Chris Jones signed with the Indianapolis Colts. Colts, we have Austin Hooper went to the Bengals. Kyle Van Noy went to the Dolphins. Eric Armstead went to the Bucks. Joe Dunley went to the Chargers. Uh, Yannick, Yannick Ngakwe went to the Cardinals. Ryan Shazier went to the Ravens, which to the divisional rivals. Matthew Judon went to the uh, Browns. Uh, Mike Hilton on a very nice friendly deal for the Texans. Uh, went to the Texans on a very friendly deal. Michael Brockers, Bills. Hawkland Dix to the Colts. Dante Fuller to the to the Texans. Kenyon Drake to the Dolphins. Jordan Howard. All right, so so not a ton went down in our division though, so that's at least good to see. Not much we have to worry about with the Eagles, Cowboys, and Giants. But let's start the draft and let's see what we can get done. So let's pause. Let's view the draft board. Is there anyone worth us trading up? We don't want that free safety. That would be the dude worth trading up towards. We're, we're not putting all our eggs in that free safety basket. But these two guys, we want. And I think we may be able to get them at the four spot. The question is, do we take Joey Spikes and play him at left outside linebacker? Or do we take Tyler Anaya and just ensure that we have the line that we need? But we have a really bad linebacking lineback core. So let's look at the linebackers. This will this will help us decide this. This may be a good player over here in Josh Proctor, third round talent. There is Greg Doolittle as well. Greg Doolittle looks like he could be really good actually. And then obviously there's Joey Spikes. And then the drop-off's kind of steep here. And we didn't get a combine from Elijah Co uh, Conway, sadly. Huh. This is tough, guys. This is tough. Gonna have to see what's there. I don't think it's worth trading up. I don't think there's anyone we want to trade up for. So William S Swede is going to be the first overall pick to the Denver Broncos. He's a 77 overall right out the gate. We got Mike Meredith, a running back. You generally don't see running backs take this, taking this early, but out of South Carolina, taken second overall by the uh, Cardinals. And then, please, Miami. All right, they took a, another running back. Floyd Davis, University of Georgia, 76, it looks like, to the Dolphins. So that's perfect. We can get the guy who we want. And that is Joey Spikes or, oh, this is such a tough decision. I may have to trade up and just get Tyler Anida too. I really may. Ah, but we really need we really need Jalen Whitehead. Like this is our guy, guy. Like that, we need him. Oh, guys, what do I do here? What do I do here? Oh my God, this is so hard. And it's like who would be taken? Who would get taken sooner? I think Tyler and I, so we got to take Tyler and I, we need our line. So we did reach on him. He is um, number eight in true talent and we took him four overall, but he is a 76 with hidden development. So we'll take it. You guys, he is a power. Um, our, our current scheme is agile for our center, but we can probably work around that. So we take Tyler and I with the fourth overall pick. I didn't see what university he was out, out of the university of Michigan. So. How many picks do we go before we try to trade up again? Maybe to the Bucks? Let's see who the Texans take. They take Matthew Vernon. <sighs> yeah, I think I think we let's try to go to the Bucks. Let's try to go to the Bucks. All right, Robert Joyner. Oh uh, no, that's getting scary though. Let's look at the draft board one more time. It's getting really scary. Yeah, because the next one's going to be Joey Spikes and do the. Let's look. Let's look. What do the Raiders need? They need. They need a left outside linebacker, and they. Yeah, so they may take our guy. So we can't chance that. Let's go. Let's go draft picks. Let's go their pick. Let's go over to us. Let's go our 21st and our 31st. What do they think of that? Oh, they just need a little bit more value. So we'll just give them some bunk receiver. Take that guy. Cool. All right, we're doing it. We gave up our 21st and 31st first round pick to the to the Raiders so that we can move up to seven overall so that we can take Joey Spikes. I didn't want a chance not getting him. It, it, it looks like they needed a left-hand side linebacker. I could see them taking him and moving him around. I didn't want to chance it. 
and we get him but he is going to be a reach he has the 10th overall talent uh, i mean the, the the yeah 10th overall talent and we took him seven but he has that hidden development and he he looks good he looks good to me tackling good hit power good speed acceleration yeah i like what i see really good strength zone coverage is really bad but i don't really need him to play a bunch of zone yeah, I think it was worth it, especially our linebackers are just so bad, you guys, and we need one guy who we can really, like, build around and rely on, so I think I think it was worth it. So now our next pick will be at the 17th pick, so let's just do some simming here. Devin Hodges, Preston Tanner, Matt Morgan, Evan Saxton, some overrated guys already. Ooh, Ronald Sylvester looking really good out the gate. A 77 corner, so that's really good. And here we are. And Kobe Chamberlain was taken, but we did not miss out on the wide receiver. We are taking Whitehead right now. We're not waiting. Jalen Whitehead is now our next pick. Ooh, he's mad overrated. Oh, he's so overrated. Oh, my God, this one stings. This one stings, you guys. He has all the talent, though. I don't feel bad, actually. He has all the talent to be good. I don't know why he's normal dev. Hopefully, we can just... If we can upgrade his dev, I don't feel bad. Because look at this talent. 91 speed, 90... Oh, his catching. His catching is what's killing him. His catching is really low. Oh, if we can get his catching up... I don't feel... I don't feel like that's bad. But, man, that was not it. Oh, we really needed a star there, you guys. We needed a star. So, now what do we do? What is our what's our next guy? And then we still need to make sure that we draft Parker Bates. I feel like he'll be a little while. Greg Doolittle. Ooh, he was mad overrated. He probably still has hidden dev. Um, and that's what's helping him still like look so good to the scouts. But he's uh he's really low rated, so I don't I don't feel as bad about that. I'm honestly glad we didn't get him. So let's look at the board now. Now that we're actually in the second round. Second round, second pick. Ah, we're getting really close to Kelvin. To yeah, to Kelvin Landrum. I think we try to trade up for him. And we give up like a second next year. Let's see. Let's try maybe next year's fourth. Can't give up this year's. There we go. Alright, we get the trade done. Can't give up this year's fourth because we still need our quarterback. We still need a lot of guys. Um, so we can't give up this year's fourth, but thankfully we're able to get it done with the next year's fourth, and we can select Kelvin Landrum. Oh my god, all that to get a guy who sucks again. What is up with this wide receiver class? Dang, I gave up so much for this guy, and he sucks. He absolutely sucks. It's his catching again. Uh, he's speedy, but uh, his catch in traffic, his short route is mean. He has a lot to work on, honestly. He's not a good player. Yeah, we we messed that one up. That's the second miss on the two wide receivers for me. That's very unfortunate. It's very unfortunate, but it is what it is, I guess. That's why everyone was avoiding him, because he's actually not good. But we're going to take our quarterback with our next pick. Um, just don't want to chance anything there. Got to make sure we get him. Um, and then we will... Uh, Start focusing on some other positions. Not seeing any real standouts anymore. Josh Proctor's actually not that good. Oh no, they're taking quarterbacks. They're starting to take quarterbacks. Oh no, they're taking quarterbacks. Oh, oh no, this is getting scary. They're taking quarterbacks. Parker Bates is two more. Do we really have to trade up? Oh my lord. They're taking quarterbacks. Please stop. Alright, looks like they're stopping. Alright. Yeah, it looks like they've chilled out. No, 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 no! The Browns took Parker Bates! The Browns took Parker Bates! The Browns took Parker Bates! No! He's a 63 though. He's really bad. He's really bad. He's really bad. No, that was our guy, though. That was our guy. In the third round? Why did everyone start picking quarterbacks in the third round? I don't get that. 
what what compelled everyone to start taking quarterbacks? I don't get that. Uh, we're gonna end up with a scrub, you guys. Do we just go with like an athlete? Like Parker Flynn now? Because all these guys are apparently undraftable talent. So yeah, we're just going to hold off on quarterback. We're going to have to go with like a guy like Parker Flynn. And we may have to just find a, sign a quarterback out of uh, free agency. Um, and see who's there. Or maybe trade for someone early into the season. Um, because yeah, they took, they took Parker Bates. He's no longer there. Our guy is gone. Yeah, we'll take Charleston. So that's not bad. At least it's a halfway decent pick. He's only a 67 with normal dev, but um, 43 in talent. Took him 85th. Not terrible. We need the depth. We need the depth on our line anyways, so we'll take it. I don't think there's any other guys who we care too much about, so we're just going to advance to our next user pick. Okay, a lot more quarterbacks are taken, so we may actually have to take Parker Flynn here. Because quarterbacks are going? Or do we wait? I think we wait, we wait, we wait, we wait, we wait. Because not, we're not sold on any of those guys, and we just want to take one guy and just go on a whim. So we'll just, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. Yep, these are the only guys we got left, actually. So yeah, I guess we'll take another receiver. Um, we'll take Terrence Wagner. He's a 62, so nothing great there. Yeah, we dropped the ball on receivers. We really did. He is still there, so we'll just take him now. It's a 53, and he is... Oh my lord, he's terrible. He's terrible. <laughs> he's absolutely terrible. Oh my guys, we screwed that up. This is not go as planned, but we're just we're we're going to have to take a completely different route on quarterback. Just at least this year. Hopefully next year we can get a guy who we actually want. There we go. Gonna take our kicker if he's there. Now uh, we'll take him. 72. Then we will do our last little pick. 21st, seventh round. I forgot to scout on some more of these undraftable drafted players. We'll take this halfback. He's actually not terrible. Kyle McClain will be our last pick. Because I forgot we needed a halfback. So that's going to be the end of the draft, guys. We started it off on a pretty good note, but we it, it, it got messy. It definitely got messy. It got very messy. So obviously we took Tyler Amaya with, the, with our first pick. He was the fourth overall pick, and he has a 77, a 76 with hidden development. And then we got Joey Spikes, a 75 with hidden development as we traded up for number seven. We took Jalen Whitehead with our 17th pick, and while he has good attributes other than his catching um, and his route running, his route running also leaves a lot to be desired. Um, I feel like we can work with him. We can work with him. We can absolutely work for him. Then we reached, though, because we really wanted that wide receiver standout to go along with Terry McLaren. And sadly, we went with Kevin, Kelvin Landrum, who just isn't that good at all outside of speed and and deep route. He's really not that good at all. Um, Charles Saxton will give us a little bit of depth. Um, but yeah, yeah. And then we just kind of missed the ball on all the rest of these. Got a decent kicker, though. Um, but yeah, not great, not great, not great. Let's go over to the Browns, though, guys. I have to see what Parker Bates... Have to see what his development is. It is just normal dev. And he has a 63, but I felt like we could work with that. Deep accuracy leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, I feel like we can work with that, though, you guys. I feel like we could work with that. It's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. 
All right, you guys, that is going to be the draft, though. So let's get our roster all right. Let's adjust that roster. So, so yeah, we don't know. We don't know what we're doing at quarterback. I highly doubt Case Keenum will be the starter week one. I highly doubt it. We don't know what we're doing there yet. Oh, we didn't have... I didn't know we didn't have backup edge rushers. I completely forgot we didn't have those. I should have chilled out on the wide receivers then. But hopefully we can get someone off a of free agency. We'll have to see. Yeah, Nate Orchid is going to get moved over. Actually, Montez Sweat is. Yeah, Montez Sweat is. Montez Sweat is going to play left outside linebacker. So Joey Spikes is going to stay at his position, but Montez Sweat is going to go to left outside linebacker. Then Ruben Foster will stay at middle, and then Joey Spikes will be the right outside linebacker. We're good on corners. Kendall Ford and Levy Wallace, and then Quinn Dunbar, Bobby Brian Calhoun, and Jimmy Moreland. Doing all right there now. Monte Nicholson, not ideal at free safety, but not terrible. And then we got our two kickers now. Do I let Dustin Hopkins go, though? I think I do. So I think this guy can be better than him soon. Accuracy's not great. Yeah, we're going to let Dustin Hopkins go. So there's that. And we're going to stick with Matt, Matt Goldman. So yeah, we just gotta we gotta figure out what we're doing at quarterback. Sorry guys, I was rubbing up against my desk, but I'm just gonna go into the preseason just to fix, um, just to fix our quarterback situation. We gotta figure out what we're doing there. So let's let's check out the free agents. What's going on? What can we do at quarterback? Uh, doesn't look good though. Ah, Blake Bortles, you guys, Blake Bortles. Not Blake Bortles, you guys. A lot of these guys have been in the league. Kyle Allen. Okay. Um, let's figure something out. Let's... Let's see if we can trade. Let's see if we can trade the Browns for our guy. We give him Case Keenum. Oh, cool. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. So just Case Keenum for Parker Bates. That gets us him. And yeah, we will we will be starting Parker Bates right out of the gate. Um, and just seeing, seeing if he could actually be that guy for us. If he can't, we'll go back to Alex Smith, who actually got us to the playoffs last year. Um, but yeah, we're going to see what we can do with Parker Bates. Um, and then here I want, I want sadly, as much as I want Steven Smith and Trey Quinn to get reps, I really need Jalen Whitehead to get reps. I really need him to get reps. So he's going to be up there. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, there is your Redskins, you guys. That is what we're working with. Oh, no, 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 no. Did I lose all that progress, you guys? Please say it. I'm going to hope that it saved at some point. All right, all right. So it just didn't it didn't save me doing the death chart updates. So that's perfectly fine. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Redskins Rebuild. I'm very glad to be done with the offseason and finally be able to play and watch some games. So I hope you guys are excited for that. Thank you for watching this offseason. Let me know what I did wrong, what I should have done differently, which players weren't worth reaching for, what you would have done differently. Let me know all that with this offseason as it's hard to know exactly how to go about this stuff. And I know I, I probably overdid it on the receiver. So let me know what you guys thought of this offseason. Was it a success still? Was it a, was it a blunt? Uh, um... Was it a dub or was it an L? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Leave a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Jugger signing out. Peace.